And between pro-life and pro-choice has been evident at one intersection in Fort Pierce. Tonight, WPTV's Megan McRoberts takes us to 12th in Delaware, where reaction is divided on each side of the curb. In a typically quiet area at 12th in Delaware in Fort Pierce. God called us all to do something. Mary Del Duca on many days over the years has set up her signs outside of this abortion clinic. There's little babies here. I'm living. Why shouldn't they live? While across the streets, Emily Fingerhut shares a similar passion, but for women's right to choose. It makes me terribly angry to see that there are people who feel like they should have a say in my body and my choices. Fingerhut has organized women's marches in the past throughout Fort Pierce. My, my rights are being taken away from me. And on 12th and Delaware, the conflict meets on one curbside by two parties passionate that their views are the right view. Two sides are here. On the east side of 12th Street, the Pregnancy Care Center says it gives women options to keep their pregnancy or consider adoption, but just steps away to the west side of the street. A Woman's World Medical Center says it gives women the option to end their pregnancy through abortion. The divide here has even been featured in an HBO documentary. That's why we also went here to hear their reaction to leaked Supreme Court documents that show Roe v. Wade might be overturned. Horror, horror and shock. Happiness beyond beyond control. Finger Hut worried that women's health could be jeopardized. It's not that we're going to stop having abortions. It's that we're not going to have a safe way to do it. Del Duca, however, feeling hopeful for a reversal she never thought she'd see in her lifetime. I just couldn't believe it. I, it's because you're doing this for so many years, and to see the light out of the tunnel, it's. Uh, it would be a miracle. Now they wait to see how the Supreme Court interprets the Constitution in a final decision about Roe v. Wade expected in the coming months, but a decision that's still unlikely to bridge the divide on this corner. I definitely feel like our rights are protect are supposed to be protected by the Constitution. That's kind of what it's all about. Why are they not protecting us? The First Amendment right. Life, living in the pursuit of happiness. You can't have any, you can't have the other two without the first guy.